Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and with the growing hype for the new Han Solo movie, we thought it would be fun to show you guys how you can create the three main heroes, Kira, young Han Solo and the young Lando, all from regular parts and pieces, so you can add these characters to your collections like we have. Now as you can see, our Kira, Han and Lando have all turned out quite well with interesting unique outfits to make them stand out, but the best thing about each one is they all have similar designs to what the official minifigures of these characters will look like in the new Kessel Run Millennium Falcon movie set. So if you like these creations and don't have plans to buy the Falcon set or would love to add the three main heroes from the movie to your Star Wars minifigure collection before the set's release, you should definitely watch on to check out our tutorial at the end that will provide you with a parts and pieces breakdown of the minifigures. But before we see that, let's begin by getting a closer look at each character. First up then, if we start with the young Han Solo, he wasn't too difficult to put together, but having said that, we did struggle to find him a decent brown jacket torso, until we eventually came across the Cassian Andor jacket torso, which seemed the obvious best choice with its nice printed pocket details and white shirt underneath, suiting Han's smuggler style. We then combine this torso with the Raftar Escape Han Solo black legs to provide the hero with his trademark holster and belt, which together with the torso completes his cool new younger outfit. Moving up his body for Han's head, we went for Captain America's because it has two youthful faces, but to be honest, any spare head with brown eyebrows should do the trick. And for his hair, we of course had to use the brown Han Solo long hair piece, as it's the same one the official movie minifigure will have, so it's perfect. Then for a final touch for firepower, he holds his trusty small black blaster. So overall, our younger Han Solo isn't the most complex creation, but with the Cassian Andor jacket and Han Solo hair, he looks great. Following on from Han, for Kira, we thought she had similarities to Jin Erso, so that's why we gave her the easy to find Jin Erso head and dark brown ponytail hair piece. Lower down for Kira's outfit, we swapped the arms on a tan rebel torso to make her jacket, which as you can see, has a good amount of printed details adding quality. Then below the torso, like the official Kira minifigure, we just gave her plain black legs, plus arm the hero with a small blaster like Han. So overall, our Kira is the least detailed of the three, but the good thing is she can still pass as the movie hero and is easy to make, which is a win-win. And last up is the young Lando, who's the one minifigure we had to put quite a lot of effort into to get his new movie outfit right. So for his legs, we gave our Lando these black printed TIE pilot ones to give the hero some scavenger style trousers. Then to go with the legs, we needed to pick a yellow torso, which isn't a common colour for a torso, so it did prove a tricky one to get, but in the end we managed to source the perfect torso from the Freemaker Adventures Ronin, which we've upgraded by swapping the hands, and as you can see it suits Lando so well with all the scavenger clothing details. We also gave our Lando a silver medium blaster like the official hero, as well as a black cape that's just missing the neck cape piece, and for his headpiece we used the Lando head from the Rebel A-Wing fighter set to give the character the right expressions. And finally, to complete the minifigure we felt his original trilogy Lando hair did not fit with his younger look, so we decided to use the spiky Hulk hair from the Mighty Micros minifigure, which isn't quite right, but it's close enough to the new hairpiece Lego are using on the official young Lando minifigure. So overall, our young Lando has a pretty sweet design that's turned out well with the yellow Ronin torso, Hulk hair and silver blaster, giving him an awesome scavenger look. On a final note then, we hope you've enjoyed seeing our minifigure creations of Kira, Young Han Solo and Young Lando because we thought it would be a great challenge to try and build all three from regular parts and pieces to prove it can be done with a bit of creative know-how. Plus we wanted to share them with you guys to help you make them too. Now we admit they're not 100% right, but they still have decent designs that help make each one recognisable as a hero from the new movie. And we particularly like that Cassian Andor brown jacket we used on Han, as well as the yellow Ronin jacket we gave to Lando, but if we had to pick our favourite from the three, it would have to be the younger Lando. However, that's just our choice, so please leave a comment below telling us who's your favourite, or who you want to build. And if you want to make these guys for your Star Wars collections, or to use them in a battle, it's now time to move on to the all-important tutorial, where we'll provide a breakdown of all the parts and pieces you'll need to construct each hero minifigure, so let's cue the music and get this tutorial started.
So that's the end of the tutorial that's hopefully helped you create one or all three of these heroes in minifigure form, or maybe you've used it as inspiration to create some that look even cooler, which is awesome too. Also thanks again guys for watching our video on how to create three of the Han Solo movie heroes in minifigure form, and don't forget to check out our channel for more of our fun LEGO creations and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.